There is no sponsor for this video, but if you want to support what I do here on YouTube or you just want the best Lightroom presets on the internet, check out my online store. The link will be down in the description. Go for a ride. Is this Gustavo or Manny? What's happening right now? Get in the car. I don't talk to strangers. Get in. <laughs> so today we're going to do um, a car photo shoot. See, what happened was Manny got these two wide angle lenses right yep and he saw that i was like going to the gym and getting fit and he wants to try to humble me make me look big and fat so that he can lower my self-esteem so it. he said hey i need you to help me with this car shoot thing for those of you who are wondering yes yes i am here against my will <laughs> um after this we're gonna Let's first take a look at the Sigma 24 1.4, shall we? It's an $800 lens and the old version was $849, so you get a little discount there. The old version had nine aperture blades, the new one has an 11 aperture blades. It's got 17 elements in 14 groups. It weighs 1.1 pounds, the old version weighed 1.4 pounds. It's got a front filter thread of 72 millimeter, got an aperture ring, aperture ring click switch, aperture ring lock switch, AFL button, MFL switch. It even has a rear filter holder and it is weather sealed. So this is definitely a premium lens. And compared to the Sony 2414, well, we'll get into that later, but let, let's let's dive into the Sigma 2114. This is the one that I'm really excited about. So this one is a $900 lens. The old version was the same, $900. The old version had nine blades. The new Sigma has 11 aperture blades. 17 elements in 15 groups. This one weighs 1.3 pounds. The old version was a, it was a two pound lens. So there's a big, big savings there in, in size and weight. It's got a front filter thread of 82 millimeters, you know, kind of large, but hey, you have that option, which is amazing. It's got an aperture ring, aperture ring click switch, aperture lock switch, an AFL button, MFL button, focus mode switch and it's got a rear filter holder like the 24 millimeters. The reason why I'm so excited about the 21.4, it's for video. I usually shoot all my talking heads with the Sony 20 millimeter 1.8, which I'm shooting with right now. I love the wide angle view, shows a lot of my studio. And also I love the wide aperture. It blurs out the background if it's messy. And there's a huge, there's a huge mess right there. And I'm, I'm able to kind of hide that with the 1.8 aperture. Now with this 21.4, I'm able to get even more blur and the difference is definitely noticeable at this distance. I think it gives a unique look, especially when doing any kind of close-up photo or video. See, the thing is, the size difference is so drastic between the 21.8 and the 21.4, it, it may be hard to justify. You know what, let's just slow it down for a second. My ADHD is starting to show up here. Let's focus on photography first. A lens like the 21.4 is aimed at, at like astrophotographers but it can be used for many other different things like this is not a macro lens but you can definitely get those sweet close-up wide angle macro looking shots with it comparing to the sony 20 millimeter 1.8 both at their wide open aperture there there just isn't much of a difference optically okay we're we're at that point where top tier lenses it's going to be really hard to find a difference okay this is exactly why i don't enjoy doing these lens comparisons anymore when looking at the 21.4 and the 21.8 optically i feel like most things are a wash but if i had to nitpick i think well i think both are equally sharp the 21.8 does control chromatic aberration better shot wide open bokeh it's a wash it's a toss-up for vignetting i'm going to give the advantage to the 21.8 but of course, easily correctable. The one disadvantage of the Sigma 21.4 is the size. It is so much bigger and heavier than the tiny 20 millimeter 1.8. It's gonna make it really hard to justify getting the 1.4. With the 24 1.4, it's also extremely close. Bokeh, I'm gonna call that a wash. Sharpness, a wash. I did notice that the Sigma 2414 does control chromatic aberration a little bit better than the Sony and also the vignetting with the lens profile applied in Lightroom. It does perform better with, you know, in vignetting. But of course, I could get rid of that vignetting so fast with just a little move of a slider. The one thing that I can tell you 
about the Sigma lenses recently, especially with the art series, that these lenses do render warmer than the Sony versions. And in my opinion, it does give you like more pleasing skin tones straight out of the camera. Also, these lenses have more features than the Sony lenses. That's something that I personally don't care about because I don't use them. But this could be something that's important to you. For both photo and video, I tested the autofocus. The lenses worked exactly like I expected them to. The days of third party lenses not being able to match the performance of native lenses, they're coming, that's coming to an end and it's coming fast. In the studio, I did one of my favorite ways of comparing autofocus and that's using a slider because it allows me to use a repeatable movement for all the lenses. On the Sony A1, I found all the lenses kept the 14 millimeter 1.8 badge consistently in focus as it bounced back and forth on the slider. What about focus breathing? I found that the Sigma 21.4 outperforms the Sony 21.8 slightly and the Sigma 24 1.4 outperforms the Sony 24 1.4 G Master and it's pretty noticeable. My final verdict on the 24 millimeter G Master and the 24 millimeter Sigma you're saving about $450 by picking up the Sigma 24 1.4 than the G Master, okay? The, the the thing with the G Master, it's like a mental thing. It's it's a native lens, right? So I feel maybe like, oh, a little bit more safe with the native lens. It's a little bit smaller and lighter than the Sigma. That's what appeals to me. So you're paying an extra $450 when the lens, like, and seeing the performance of both of them I'm not even going to hesitate, to be honest. I'm picking up the Sigma 24-1.4 if I was to have to pick one and pay for them. Sigma. With the 20 millimeters, this one's a little bit more complicated because there's such a difference in size and weight. But I think that, you know, just like anyone buys an f1.2 lens over an f1.4, you can argue it's a very small difference. But the people that buy the F1.2, they, they, they'll pay for it. Clearly, they'll pay for it. And you get that extra bit more background blur and more of a unique look in a sense. So the same thing is with these two lenses. You know, for me, I'm not running around with a gimbal. You know, I'm, I don't really care too much about the size, although I do appreciate how small and lightweight this is. I think this look right here at F1.4, such a wide angle, I think this gives me a little bit more of a 3d pop and uh, i like it you know i think for me or someone like me that shoots prime lenses and loves that that 3d look you know i think i would pick up the sigma if doing this i'm picking up the sigma 24 i mean the 21.4 over this over the sony one if i had to start from scratch see i already have the sony 21.8 this is a it, does it make sense to buy the Sigma when I already own this and have to ha go through the hassle of selling it because I, I hate that process. I hate going to the post office. Going to the post office is one of the things that I hate most in life. For the people out there that want a different look, unique look, the 21.4, especially that it has a filter thread. Now you can use filters. I think it's this is a this is gonna appeal to a certain audience for sure. I I, I really dig it. I really like this look right here. Watch, this is 21.4. I'm going to switch to 1.8. I'm going to put auto ISO. Oh, boy. Wait, I got the... Ch oh, boy. Let me go to 1. 1.8. It's hard to tell and not be distracted by my face getting brighter and darker, but there's a difference. Did you see a difference with the 21.4 and 21.8? Because... I'm actually gonna, I'm thinking about buying it. What the hell was that? I don't know. What do you think? I wanna show you what happens behind the scenes. Boredom, exhaustion. Yeah, this looks nice. Oh, that's nice, great. <laughs> you didn't think it was, did you? No, I thought it would be amazing. All right, all right. I'm sure you did. <laughs> oh my God. I could be at the beach right now, but instead I'm here being so supportive. So supportive. So supportive.